Welcome back, everyone. So, uh, I just gotta think here. What am I gonna do for this episode? I think things are looking uh, pretty good so far. I think the food is probably doing all right. Got a lot of wine. Got mushrooms. Tons of cabbage. Oh, we have some bread? So I think for this episode, uh, the walls are alright. I'm gonna have to do, uh... See if I can make it look a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, that really helps. So I can do that, and... Oh, you can't... Well, it does fit with, with the curve there. And it just adds a little bit... Looks a tiny bit nicer when you have something like that. I might extend... Uh, I can still extend the walls out for like a double thickness. And then I, I could build this out so that my archers could stand on top of here and sort of aim down if anyone's attacking the door. And I'm also thinking about building the church. So it could be built here, really small, or I could kind of build one over here, which would be, uh, I, could, I could expand it down the road. So far, I really love this game. It's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to think here and then see what I'm going to do next. Okay, right now, I've got to work on research. I unlocked uh, cooking, which it gives you... Uh, this says it's a stove, but it looks like a fireplace. Uh, where was that? Yeah, it's called a stove. But that'll look nice and it'll add some heat. And then I was... I remember earlier I thought, I've got to start building private rooms. So maybe I'll do that there. I've moved this, these trees down to there. And I think this would be a good spot just for uh, building... I'm going to use uh, bricks still. Maybe I should start with a, with a bed. I can do this now, it costs 35 linen. I'm not sure how much of that I have. I guess I have a fair amount. It might be okay to do a quality bed. I think something like this. They have a side table there. And another side table. Uh, let's see. Let's get the... I mean, this would be really small. But two spaces there. So I could put like a dresser or something in the future. I think that might be okay to start. Just to get our private home set up. And I'll put a wooden floor in there. Uh, I could also do like uh, two stories. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh, I'd have to make this longer though. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I could put it down here. I don't want to... I could have this go in between and have another story over here, but I want to kind of keep this clear for view. I don't know how to think about that. It would make sense. It would give me easy access to the wall and then have them kind of stacked on top of each other. It might look interesting. So let's see with the wood. We'll do the... Let's keep doing the bricks. 
Okay, I'm thinking something like this. It's gonna be a uh, simple rooms. But I definitely want to build up the walls anyways. I don't have to build outwards, I guess. But that just gave me two easy rooms. Not sure who will uh, take that. I can assign people to a room. The other thing too is that uh, people get older, and that's one thing I didn't set up properly for my original settlers. I should have made their ages very young, like 16 or 18 or whatever the lowest is. Yeah, so we'll see what that turns out like. Uh, I should probably put... There's the door and there's the window. I think that's fine. And then for the roof, I'll do something a little bit fancier, perhaps. Yeah, probably some limestone. What's this? It's just like a, just a half roof. Yeah, the one issue is... Uh, Building a thicker wall so I can do the roof properly. But I think I'm just going to build outwards anyways. But it might affect how I, I do the roof here. Unless I can do like a, just a limestone roof. Might be the best for now. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes, and it'll start to look better, and I'll just uh, build the walls out and focus on where I'm going to put that church. Like, eventually I could get rid of this kitchen. And I have a, a bridge going across here, and then maybe a nice church on, on this side, away from the warehouse. Okay, we have a hailstorm that just started. Looks really cool. I like all these little effects they've added. And I guess we'll get to uh, winter soon. And we'll see what the snow is like. I have more research available. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down this melting line. Uh, where was that? Yeah, smelting. Then we can do uh, blacksmithing and... This eventually makes steel. We'll just need the iron ingots, or let me see the right here. Yeah, we'll just need the iron ingots to begin with for some of the defensive structures, making stronger doors and things. So I'll just work on getting that built next. Still thinking about the church. Okay, I just found out how do you do those archer spots, and uh, I forgot what they were called, but they're called Merlins. So I can eventually... I'll do uh, limestone bricks. These will be excellent, because eventually I can just build these. Just gonna go to page up. Uh, what I'll probably do is have a floor stick out and then do a Merlin. I don't think I'm going to go too high for this wall yet. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do... I could do a wooden floor. I'll give it a different look. And then I'll build these... Like the the brick war is a lot... The, the bricks are a lot stronger. But you go under warfare, and then I can build these Merlins. That'll give it a nice look. And then I'm sure I can decorate the Merlins and see how that looks. I have to get rid of these trees, though. They're blocking the view. 
I can just replant these trees by putting a farm spot. Which uh, eventually I'll do that. I can't actually get up there right now. I wasn't really planning to... It's just be a temporary wooden stair, which they don't have access to. Okay, so let's go and I'll copy this. Let's put some temporary construction materials so they can get to the roof. Because that'll look quite nice to begin with. Just give uh, my settlement some character. And the Merlins, I think, they, they do protect... Uh, I hope they protect the archers a little bit. So right there I can put that a 90 degree angle. Yeah, there we go. And I'll do the same with that one. Yeah, this is really cool. And then eventually I can get decorations like shields and things, which I'll just decorate the walls with. And I think that'll look pretty good. Sweet, I just found two sheep. So this is a female and a male, so I'll, I've set them, well it's two females. But hopefully we can use their wool. Uh, you can milk sheep, I don't think you can in this game, but here's all the deer, so... I don't know if it affects if you, uh... If you wipe out all of the males or females. I wonder if they reproduce on their own. So I'll just be careful with that. I found two dead deer that I can harvest. It's a pole cut. But I'm definitely going to have to start uh, harvesting as much food as I can. Before you, before you know it, all the crops disappear, and sometimes, the, at least when I played years ago, well, I played last year for a couple hours, but uh, the animals can disappear as well, and then you're really screwed if you don't have any food. So I want to get all that set up. Okay, I've just been working with the storage, and it's really cool. You can build these chests. And the chest will store apparel and things. So like, kind of like I could put a workshop here, but I think I'll just put some a couple of chests. This is where my tailoring bench is, and uh, so I built a chest here, and you can put in uh, armor, shields, weapons, and clothing, hats, and things. So I just think from the for these chests, I'll probably do just apparel. Yeah, so winter... Ooh, there's a winter snap, and it's getting real cold. It's minus 12 Celsius. And I have my, uh... My smelter built. I better make sure all the windows are closed. So I'm just gonna double-click on this. I should have selected... Everything? Uh, these ones are already closed. Let's just see how warm it is up here, though. It's man, only four degrees. So I can just double click on this and put the intensity to high. And it's also selected those two as well, so that's excellent. And yeah, so it's up to uh, 8.8 degrees. Wow. I think I want a minimum 10. Just for, just for, if I was having to sleep there, I'd want it to be at least 10. 12, okay, that's pretty good. Let's see how, what, let's see what they think. Yeah, they're still cold, so... I guess I'll just, uh, copy this. Uh, 
I wonder how it affects uh, these rooms though. Like these rooms are smaller, so hopefully it would. Well, there's no roof for that building, I think. So, man, one point C. Ah, uh, the windows are still open though, so that's. I'll have to check back later, and hopefully the smaller rooms are easier to keep warm. Otherwise, it'd be very annoying. Yeah, it's just kind of a uh, slow going. I don't think I tamed those sheep yet. I better tame them before the for the wolves eat them. I think I'll just make that a priority for uh, uh, modeling is one of the best. No, bead is the best. So I'll just have bead focus on animal husbandry. Yeah, 22. He should be super good at this. But he's busy drinking. So it says they've already had a taming attempt today, so I guess you can just do it once uh, once a day, and I guess he failed. I should make sure that he's the main person doing that. So animal husbandry... He's not good, so I don't want him attempting that. And she's pretty busy cooking and things. I'll have her focus more on uh, researching, perhaps. Okay, Marlin actually, just after I paused, she uh, tamed the sheep, so that's awesome. Okay, so the sheep look so similar to the goats. I'm not sure what they're going to provide. Uh, sheep's milk is supposed to be uh, pretty good. And I guess the wool will just count as linen if they get harvested. Gosh, you can get a lot of animals in there. And the butchering table, I'm not sure how you you order them to be like, which which ones get slaughtered? Like when they're mature or not. I should put a second trough, I think. And I'll put two more, just make sure they're well fed. Yeah, you would think you would maybe set it up here, I don't know. Okay, so here's the preliminary, preliminary design for the little church. I'm just gonna have the these two worship shrines. Having those moved, I'll make this out of brick. Have a couple of um, windows there. They'll go right there, and then maybe something like decorative in the middle. And it's all made of uh, bricks. Because right now they're like worshiping outside and it's super cold. So this way I can uh, have them in a warm place. I can put two braziers. I think that's furniture. I guess at the sides. Oh, a wall torch, but it's iron. What's the... Yeah, it does, it does look a lot better. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes, and... I'm not sure what kind of roof for a church. I haven't tried a slate roof yet, so maybe I'll just do that, see how it looks. Yeah, 
yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, actually, for here, I could do, like, a two-story. So you have a nice high ceiling. Maybe I'll, I'll do that. Because it, it won't really take that many resources. Okay, so I built some lighters because they just can't reach that. And so far, that's going to be the church. I hope, I hope this is, uh... Gonna work. I put down some uh, support beams for it. But let's keep them nice and warm. And I've I'm just gonna put like three windows across here on, on both uh, both stories. Yeah, and we'll see how this looks afterwards. I think it'll look pretty nice. Yeah. So I just noticed the snow is starting to accumulate, and as they as they walk, you can see the snow kind of melts or gets pushed aside so it's gonna be really hard to find the uh, where exactly my my limestone is so i wanted to drill down here and uh, the main reason was just so i could build another layer to go down We'll build that, and then this stuff, I think, is all lime. It shows over here, that, that just says soil. But down here, we have more limestone and things. And then there's limestone up here still, so we, we should be able to make enough bricks to finish this. Yeah, the snow looks really nice, and it does make it more difficult, though, to see things. Yeah, so we're day three. Hopefully, I think we have a ton of hay for the animals, so that's great. I just see one sheep in there. But uh, hopefully they get both sheep. Okay, the merchant caravan has arrived. And I guess Caesar is guards so last time was just like a wandering merchant he was by himself uh, there's some salt that I had mined up and uh, yeah my sellers are exhausted let's look at the schedule I have been changing it so that by midnight they're sleeping and I'm making sure they sleep in more so I'm just kind of, I'm going to give them another hour of sleep, and it's seven hours. Because they're getting real exhausted all the time. It's not, it's not as bad though, before it was happening earlier. Uh, so who's the best guy for, uh, bartering? Yeah, so I don't see speechcraft up here, but Sigmund is the best for bartering, so... We're gonna have Sigmund go and see what this guy has to sell. I think I should just sell a bunch of stuff to him anyways. Yeah, so we could get more animals potentially. Uh, oh, some chickens. So do we get eggs from those or meat? We're definitely gonna get some chickens and a male. Uh, I think it's probably good for me to sell some... Wow, 27? Yeah, I'll just sell some goats. I don't need so many males. I want more females. Well, I have a lot of herbs. So I guess I'll acquire some gold from this. So that's awesome. Yeah, I have, I have uh, 200 meat, so I think I can sell 100 meat. Hopefully I'm not... I, I can always still do some hunting, hopefully. Or uh, harvest some goat meat. Yeah, there's a lot of male goats I can sell. Yes, yeah, so we will get some eggs then from the chickens.
And it's just like, I think this is an easy way just to sell all of like the flimsy clothing that I have. Wow, I have 3,000 hay. So, do shift click. Yeah, I overdid it with the hay. So, we'll sell about 1,000 and... I don't know if I really want to really want to buy anything from them. Uh, the chickens will be great though. I guess I could uh, get all of his. So I'll acquire three hundred and forty-eight. Okay, this is the total amount of value I'm, I'm giving the merchant, and this is what I'm acquiring based on my uh, bartering skill, I guess. So yeah, we got we don't have too much cheese, carrots. Could get some carrot seeds, cartography table. I don't have the research yet. Get some beet seeds. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll just sell the dubious booze. Yeah, I think that's good for now, so I'll just go ahead and accept that. Seal the deal. And then, yeah, we'll get some chickens. I can have them all together or divide it later. I got the tech for a reinforced door. It's a. Uh, I did have the gridded door, but it's 300 hit points versus 500. So we'll get that built. Did that build? Okay, there we go. I'll just do one door at a time. I should have enough ingots. And I got some more decorations. We got some linens and some decorative shields. Church of Restitution. It's like a, a golden shield or something. A shining golden plaque. So I could put that above each of those. Yeah, the door looks a lot better, so let's do that one at a time. Well, I actually have more than enough time in case someone invaded. I can quickly replace those. Because this is uh, 120 hit points versus 500, so it's going to be way better. Let's just get rid of all of them. The next battle, I think it's going to be based on what the value of the settlement is, so I better be prepared. The reinforced door. There, we should be good. I'll get some torches or things up here. Maybe some shields for decoration. Oh yeah, I want to see the banners. I wish it would, uh, it's kind of difficult to see what it's going to look like on here. So they're just going to like hang from the wall. It'd be nice to have a nice big uh, flag just blowing in the wind. to be placed here. It's kind of weird. I'll have to just uh, experiment with that, see what it looks later. The church is coming nicely. I should have put some windows up here, I think. Just copy that. Those are the brick windows. It'd be nice if we get like stained glass windows. That'd be awesome. I like the snow, how it's building up on the roof. So I have to build more uh, ladders. I'll get rid of those once they're done. I'll have two windows up here and we'll have four windows in the front. I think that'll look nice. And I'm going to put some banners at the side there. Yeah, I really love the snow effect and everything. It's really cool. 
Oh, we're five days into winter. Hopefully we get through it soon. And I better grab those books before they decompose. Oh yeah, I haven't been paying attention to the library. I probably need more bookshelves. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on that, I guess. Don't have a whole lot of room, though. Okay, so we got a lot of shelving. Got wall shelving. Got some... Oh, I don't want to block back here. Yeah, I could move things around. I could move that brazier around, put two more. Something like that. We'll have a ton of shelves. I don't know if they can reach over here. Probably not. It's not going to look right. I can always move this brazier. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Let's put that over there. Oh, nice. So the banner is built. That's what it looks like originally. But this is awesome. You can uh, just adjust it like this. Oh, uh, yeah. This would be good on top of the tower. I think this will be... Yeah, I'll go with this shape. Yeah, and then top of the tower will... Do that again. What is it? It's decorations. So I'll just build up here and then I can move it later after I fit it like the way it looks or where it's positioned. These private rooms are looking nice. I had to put two of those brazers in there because it just wasn't warm enough. Yeah, it's still only... Man, it's so cold in there. So there's... The heat doesn't really work too well in this game. I could add some nice wall torches, though. I'm gonna go with the iron ones. Well, the iron is probably best outside. provide a little bit of heat okay and I got my uh, stove working as well here I'm going to do lavish meals I didn't realize I can do like uh, pickled vegetable as well so I'll just keep 10 in stock I guess I'm not sure if we can just eat those or if it's more for an, ingre an ingredient Yeah, that, I totally forgot about the stove. But that's up and running. We'll get some better food. People aren't the happiest. I mean, I think they're doing okay. But not great. Uh, they're in the winter, though, so... It's cold outside. I'm sure the cap is probably better for winter. I just don't want to fiddle, fiddle around with exactly with which kind of hats they're wearing and things. Church is taking a while. It's looking nice. I'll have to set up some torches so the light uh, shines through. And uh, so outside it's my, it's almost minus one. Inside it's 5.8. I'm going to leave the windows open. But at least when they're in here, they're not going to be freezing. I can potentially add some more torches. But they'll be warm enough. It's, it's a lot better than being outside if it's like minus 10 versus uh, zero degrees. And have some braziers up here. So we'll get some more light. Yeah, so far it's going good. Just everything's kind of slow.
Okay, so the church is finally done. It's hard to get stuff onto the second floor without having to move stuff and everything, but so far it's okay. I got a torch in there for some heat. And come in here, be warm. Uh, did I not put anything there? I guess I did. It looks okay, though. Maybe I can put a different uh, style of tile there. You can have different styles of tiles here as well. I have two little ridges at the at the sides. Yeah, I think things are going all right. It takes forever in the winter to do anything though. I'm gonna need some more people, especially someone who's really good like full time at construction. Okay, that was a bad spot for a window. Uh, this part's okay though. I was thinking too, I should have came out like two spaces with the floor and then built the Merlins. And I'll bring it out here and do some Merlins. Maybe even uh, just like an overhang. And then the rest here, I'll come with them. Just one, one radi one tile uh, Merlin. And then eventually, I'll have to build like more walls and things. But so far, so good. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.